Forester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne, she claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. And then after that whole business with Tyrion, I thought she knew how to stay loyal when it mattered. But then there was that day when she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help, when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened, the gods know what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam. But I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the godswood. Yet before her day was out, a brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White Hill beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. Roderick. A saviour who couldn't save any. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rather earnest, I suppose. But he had heart, fighting with a former slave by his side. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did, it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira has proven that. But at what cost? I could have told you the story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They were passionate. I'll give them that. But they were ruled by their whims. Impetuous when they should have been shrewd. Noble and just to the end, but weak. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost.
Asha? Asha. We have to hurry. I saw what you were trying to do. They wouldn't listen to reason. We will overcome this. <laughs> 